Today is Tuesday, July 29, 2014, the 210th day of the year. There are 155 days remaining until the end of 2014. Sunrise today is at 5.34 a.m. The sun sets at 8.18 p.m. Length of daylight hours today, 14 hours, 43 minutes, 59 seconds. Two minutes, 12 seconds shorter than yesterday. Tomorrow will be two minutes, 15 seconds shorter than today. The waxing crescent moon appears above the horizon today with 7.2% illumination at 7.16 a.m. and sets at 9.21 p.m. The moon passes above downtown Rutland City at 252,014 miles distant from the center of planet Earth within the seventh zodiacal designation, Virgo, the Virgin. Under mostly clear skies in downtown Rutland, today's forecast promises fair weather with a few passing clouds around and a high daytime temperature of 74 degrees on the Fahrenheit scale with light west-northwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, a mostly clear nighttime sky, overnight low temperatures around 50, light variable winds. Wednesday, sunny skies, a modest precipitation expectation around 20%, nothing serious. Daytime temperatures Wednesday around 77 degrees, light south wind. Pollen count is low, 0.70 out of 12. Humidity rising to 94%. Ultraviolet index safe, 0 out of 12, and air quality remains good. The highest recorded temperature in the contiguous United States is 111 degrees at Glendale in the Grand Canyon State, Arizona. Lowest temperature, 33 degrees at Pahaska and at Snake River Ranger Station in the Equality State, the Cowboy State, Big Wyoming. Society is like a stew. If you don't stir it up every once in a while, then a layer of scum floats to the top. Edward Abbey. This shoe is so old that when the Great Pyramid was built, it had already been sitting in a cave for a thousand years. And it's so well preserved that you can see a toe print inside. Found in Armenia, this 5,500-year-old leather footwear, it's the oldest such shoe in the whole wide world. It's made from a single piece of cowhide. The shoe is custom made to fit its wearer's foot. The cave prevented a perfect set of conditions to preserve its contents, which, beside the shoe, also included large containers of wheat, barley, apricots, and various other foodstuffs. The cave's climate was dry and cool and remarkably unchanging over the millennia. But the secret ingredient in the preservation was sheep dung. The cave floor was completely covered in a thick layer of the manure, which sealed off its contents from outside disturbance. So perfect was the preservation that the archaeologists originally guessed the shoe was only about 600 to 700 years old, and it was only after radiocarbon dating that they discovered they were off by about 5,000 years. Archaeologists still aren't sure what culture the shoe comes from or what the cave was used for, as very little is known about this particular region during that period of prehistory. The archaeologists hope further excavation of the rest of the cave, which has already turned up some graves, will help them better understand the people who left this shoe behind. This is today's Weather Minute. I'm Richard Alcott.